He sounds kind of like Gollum, doesn't he? Um, it's kind of a creepy intro song, I realize, for what I'm trying to do here, but such is the contradiction of life. Um, I guess what I'm thinking about today, uh, this morning, afternoon, etc., is, is sort of why I'm doing this at all, and then the thing I'm trying to explore in general. And it's this sort of barometer, biblical barometer, uh, that I've been using to measure anything I'm supposed to be pursuing. Because um, as a Christian, you spend a lot of time in your life just like trying to be quiet and, and listen. Listen for guidance. Uh, be quiet and let, let blessings come to you, you know, instead of always trying to manufacture your own. Because the whole God bless the child that's got his own is actually just a R&B refrain. Uh, and it's sort of contradictory, I think, to the a central tenet of what Christianity is supposed to be about, which is really about uh, not doing on your own, really doing nothing on your own, kind of doing all things uh, through the Spirit of Christ, who was this sinless uh, manifestation of God on earth, self-sacrificing to the point of torture and death, uh, which is pretty heady stuff uh, to live up to. Uh, and no, we're going to fall short of that, and that actually might be somewhat easier and pleasant to fall short of that, because it sounds sort of uh, painful and horrible. Um, and being that self-sacrificing is, is exhausting, but uplifting all at the same time. Anyway, the whole tenet thing I'm talking about is, uh, I don't know where it's at in the Bible, somewhere in there, uh, talks about you will, uh, basically you'll know the things of God by their fruit. Uh, you know, you know whether it's a good tree by its fruit, uh, whether it's poisonous or not. Hey, that's a good thing. Um, and that so often, I or maybe in general other people struggle with the same thing. I would assume because I don't think I'm that abnormal uh, with this whole internalization of your spiritual life, which is like, okay, it's very much based on me. It's about my personal relationship. But in a way that seems like artifice, because just like with anything else in life. You can have these awesome ideas and tenets and principles that you live by, but until they actually not only do cement them in the way you live, but they actually bear good things outside of you, um, then they really do amount to not very much. Uh, a, pa a parallel example for me, anyway, is like my creative inside life. You know, I'll think of ideas, script ideas, song ideas, whatever, and they can be awesome in my brain, and I can develop them and reharmonize and, and whatever in my brain, but until I've put it out and it's maybe moved someone else or or put joy in the world or made people laugh or whatever, then really it, the, the beauty of his existence is really unfulfilled. It's really just a, it's, it's an ephemeral thing. It's a concept. If it remains inside and does not bloom outside and bear fruit beyond myself, then really it's kind of just an exercise in, in selfish behavior. Does that make sense? Am I saying that correctly? I think I am. Anyways, that's what this whole thing is now, is what I'm trying to do is, is get beyond myself, or at least spout these things beyond myself, however this happens, and try to see if it bears fruit, if it helps anyone with their own sort of struggles of spirituality, or how they're supposed to behave, or who they're supposed to be, or just getting out of one's own way, and getting, it's just getting out getting out to other people and being blessed, being a blessing to other people. And for me, to be a blessing to other people for Christ or through Christ, as opposed to just for myself, which is kind of a whole separate line of thing. And I'm only thinking about that because I have an improv show tonight. So does my baby, Artis Square, debut show, Halloween this evening. Shh, I'm recording something, garbage truck. Uh, but we're playing tonight, and so much of, and we're improv shows, and so much of what improv is is about putting your focus out, out on others. And then, and the more you try to help other people buoy up their ideas and, and support them, and, and where they're slumping, you lift them up, or where they have something great, you jump on it and go, yeah, that's great, and add your own little pieces to it and collaborate, the better it all works. And for me, my joy in improv has actually been a way to practically practice that which I'm trying to practice for Christ. So in a way, what I do in improv is you practice that outward reaching and that support and that love in support of the, the show 
And then in life, I'm trying to practice that as much as possible for Christ, for eternity, for, for, for that which exists within us and beyond us, which I totally, if you don't believe in, then some of this would just seem like gobbledygook to you, but if I certainly believe that there is, there is an eternal portion of the self. There's something that, that worship, praise and worship is connected to me that I can't really explain that seems more than just a biochemical reaction. Sort of the same way that, like, love can, that music can, that art can. It touches you in a place that, you, like, you almost have no other reference for. So I'm just trying to work on stuff that bears fruit. Um, and if anybody wants to talk about it or whatever, holler at me and the things of your life. And to, to me, that's also the guideline, too, of, like, whether you should follow something or not, is does it bear good fruit? So hopefully this bears good fruit, and hopefully I'm chasing as many things as I can that bear good fruit. Yeah, all right, that's today's thoughts, probably long enough. I'm going to play some more music. And Bye peace out. Come to the show tonight. Love you all. that mean forever what does that mean what does that mean